Hey RVers, Gary Bunzer here, the RV Doctor, with a chance to show you a relatively new RV roofing system designed to permanently seal any RV roof surface, such that you'll never have to come up here on the roof of your RV again. It's called RV Armor, and it will literally be the last roof your RV will ever need. Imagine never having to get up on the roof of your RV ever again, and have it guaranteed for life. That's right, the RV Armor System is guaranteed against defects for the entire life of that RV. And that includes parts and labor. And the best part, they come to you no matter where you live. You'll never have to drive or tow that RV to any service facility. They have factory trained experts nationwide who can install the RV Armor System wherever the coach is located, at your house, at a storage facility, even in the campground where you're staying. Here's Lee Thaxton, president of RV Armor, to explain the concept of best roofing practices and how a good foundation is important for a leak-proof RV. Lee? One of the things that we have to do here at RV Armor is we need to use best roofing practices, and that involves us doing a thorough inspection of the existing roof, and as mentioned earlier, uh, we remove all the caulking and sealants, but one of the other things we need to do is we, we need to remove the AC covers, we need to inspect the seals underneath to make sure that they're good, and then your max air covers, and those things have to come off so that we can look at the inner flashings of that as well. So we also probe the roof to make sure it's properly sealed down, we check all the sealants to make sure that they're properly in place. So basically Basically what we need to do before we even start the process is to make sure that you've got a good solid foundation. No matter how great our product is, and it is the best on the market, it's no good if we don't have a good solid foundation to start with. The RV Armor Complete Roofing System can be applied to any type of roofing surface, aluminum, fiberglass, TPO, and in the case here, EPDM rubber roofing. You know, anytime you're doing any kind of work on any kind of EPDM or rubber roof, uh, taking special care when you're removing any kind of sealants is very critical because EPDM has a tendency to want to tear and rip, and we don't want to compromise the roof at all. So every one of our installers, as we're going through, you can see Robert's taking his time, really doing a good job of making sure that we get a good, clean, solid surface here without ripping the old one because we want to make sure, again, that we've got a nice, solid foundation before we start putting on a new roof. Uh, well, the first step in the process is cleaning the old roof, which we have just finished here just a little bit ago. So the roof is cleaned and dry, and now Robert over here is removing some of the old sealants that need to come off of the roof before we start the process. Uh, throughout the course of today, being day one, what we're going to do today is Robert's cleaning all this stuff off here, and then this being a rubber roof, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up using our priming system. So in just a little bit, you're going to see that we're going to prime this whole roof, which is going to turn this sort of a yellowish color. It's almost a clear coat. And what that does is actually stiffens up the old rubber and gives us a nice, clean, primed surface to work with before we start our application. A little bit later this afternoon, after that dries, we're going to come back and then we're going to put some flashing and detail work around all this and replace all this stuff. And then we're going to start the first application of the gray and then, of course, tomorrow we're going to come back and finish the white and make this all nice and pretty in a seamless roof tomorrow. RV Armor installers are careful to fully inspect every roof penetration, every screw, staple, or rivet that mounts any roof component to the RV roof. Carefully inspecting the old sealant around vents and antennas not only provides for a clean surface for the RV Armor system, it can also reveal breaches in the existing roof that would have, over time, had the opportunity to cause major damage to the RV. The number one cause of RV damage today is water intrusion. You gotta keep that moisture out of the roof and sidewalls. Here's a clear example of the original sealant not being applied correctly when this satellite antenna was initially installed. Notice how easily it pulls up from this penetration where the cables are attached to the roof. A closer look reveals a deposit of dirt and dust under a layer of old sealant that was created by flowing moisture. Rainwater or even a heavy dew can find its way through the tiniest of cracks and simply follow the mounting screw threads down and into the ceiling void. To repair this correctly, the RV Armor installer must first clean and inspect every inch of the old sealant and eliminate problem sections prior to the new roof installation. And rather than penetrate the roof again, RV Armor flashing can actually hold these cables in place without having to use cable clamps, which normally require mounting screws. The fewer holes in the roof, the better. 
Take a look at how the sealant has deteriorated around this 14 inch exhaust vent. Obviously it requires a deeper level of inspection. To begin, the installer heats the old sealant and painstakingly removes all remnants of the deteriorated caulking. This is a tedious process and one that many RV service techs rush through because of the time constraints in a typical repair shop, if they even attempt to remove the old sealant in the first place. Not the case with RV armor. No matter how long it may take, every roof penetration is carefully cleaned, inspected, and rectified. The philosophy is simple. Without proper preparation, any new roofing product becomes immediately compromised. One reason a lifetime warranty can be proffered is because the specialized training the installers go through underscores the importance of having a clean surface on which to install the RV armor system. Plus, the product is simply that good. Anyone can slop a roof coating, sealant, or a caulking on top of older sealants, but this attention to detail is but one reason why an RV armor roof is a far superior roofing system. Trust me, before that first day is over, they'll know your RV's roof intimately. Here's another faulty seal located at the refrigerator vent. Left unattended, this opening would allow rainwater and moisture to permeate the roof and begin its destruction of the ceiling and insulation within. Removing the old deteriorated sealant also revealed this rusted screw head, further evidence of water intrusion and the beginnings of costly damage. And here's yet another breach found at the base of the satellite antenna. As mentioned, the old sealant is carefully inspected on any component that attaches directly to and penetrates the roof, including TV antennas, sewer vents, refrigerator vent, and all 14-inch roof vents. Prior to applying a primer to the EPDM rubber roofing membrane, all screw locations are further cleaned using a dash of paint thinner on a clean shop towel. Having a clean surface guarantees the primer coat will properly adhere and self-level over all screw locations at the cap transitions, the antennas, and all vents and other roof components such as this skylight. Literally everything attached to the roof. Once everything has been cleaned, the first major step in the two-day process of installing the RV armor system is priming the surface. Here's Lee to explain the purpose of that primer coat. Okay, on this step here, Robert is applying our primer to this EPDM rubber roof here. And as you can see, it's kind of a yellowish color here. And what that's doing is it's hardening the old rubber surface and it's giving us a nice, clean, bondable surface. So we're preparing the roof for the application of the uh, roof armor system. The entire RV roof armor system, from the priming system to the gray and the white that we do to create a seamless roof, covers the entire RV roof from gutter to gutter, all the way down underneath the screws into the gutter system itself from the two to three inches on the front cap, two to three inches on the back cap, so the entire roof is covered and is a seamless application uh, from gutter to gutter, from front cap to back cap, so that you no longer have to get up on your roof ever again. Now that we've finished the cut-in, we're gonna start rolling out the coach with the rest of our primer. And the reason that we use a roller is so that not only does it create a, is it a wider so we can create a nice, consistent, smooth surface, but this particular primer also self-levels itself out to give us a nice, hard shell, clean surface. So I'm gonna step back and let you watch Robert go ahead and roll out the rest of this surface here. Well, as Robert is working at finishing up the primer coat here, uh, after he gets done with the primer, we're going to have about three hours or so of drying time and curing time, so this becomes a nice, clean, hard surface. And then when he comes back, we're going to start the gray, and then we'll be working on the flashing material, and then the white tomorrow. So the next time you see us, we'll be, uh, have the gray on here, we'll be working on the flashing details, as well as finishing up the white. So see you tomorrow. The actual first layer of the RV armor system is the gray coat. It is applied to a thickness of approximately 28 mils. Here you can clearly see how its self-leveling trait creates a nice smooth finish over all roof penetrations and screw locations around every component secured to the roof of the coach. Well, now that day one has been finished, we're back here for day two, and as you can see that we've got, now got a great finish here, which is our day one completion step of our roof armor system. So now we have a great coat that's been finished here, 
And uh, now that we're going to come in today, we're going to start doing white. In just a little bit here, we're going to show you uh, Robert working. He's going to be cutting in white around the AC units and around all the vent covers and along the perimeter here. So we're going to be cutting in the white here. And the reason why we're doing white is it's exactly the same product, but we're doing gray and white so we, our workers can see exactly what's going on. We're getting the proper coverage that we need. Okay, now I want to explain the our self-leveling flashing detail work, or a lot of people don't know what flashing is, but it's a self-leveling sealant. And we do like to do our sealant first before we put our final coat on so that everything is fully encompassed so there's no more exposed caulking or sealants because we want to create a completely seamless, maintenance-free roof. So Robert earlier came in here and we troweled this in. And as this, this gets troweled in, there's no more exposed areas and it self-levels out into a nice, smooth surface. And a little bit later, I'm going to have Gary show you a finished look of this so you can see what it looks like in completion. Once all the flashings have been applied, the installer can begin the finish coat of the RV Armor system. Here's Lee once again to discuss the final finish coat. Lee? Well, now we're starting the cut-in of the, our white or our finish coat of the roof armor system. And it goes on as 28 mils. And as you can see, Robert is cutting it in with a brush because it's important that we go ahead and cut everything in, let it self-level out. And then once all the cutting gets done around all the edges and penetrations, then we're going to come back in and we're going to coat this whole thing at 28 mils with a roller so until we have a nice, solid white surface. Prior to the application of the finished coat, the front and rear caps are taped off. Another hallmark of RV Armor is the attention to little details like this. Notice the gap between the tape and the leading edge of the gray coat. This allows for overlap of the finished coat so all transitions remain smooth and graduated. After the cut-in process is complete, the tape is removed leaving a nice clean termination to the finished coat. The finish coat is also applied by roller to an approximate thickness of 28 mils. As each coat cures, the thickness shrinks to about 14 mils each, but with the gray and white finish coat combined, the result is a nice clean white roof 28 mils thick. And all penetrations around roof components are now sealed against water intrusion forever. What you end up with is a completely sealed roof, gutter to gutter, cap to cap and it's guaranteed for life. Here's Lee to wrap up this short presentation. Well folks, there you have it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this short little informational video on the RV Roof Armor System. Hopefully we've shown you from beginning to end how you too can never have to worry about a roof leak again and have a maintenance-free, worry-free roof for life. I'm Lee Faxton, President of RV Armor, and you can contact us at 1-855-RV-ARMOR, which is 855-782-7667, or visit us on the web at www.rv-armor.com.